Hello friends here, hello, welcome to hstutorial.com. So today we have a question under the double entry principle. And the purpose of this question is to help you understand how to record transactions into the ledger account. So I got a lot of questions, a lot of feedback from students asking me how to post this transaction since they are offering accounting for the first time in the university because they never did it while in secondary school. So in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of entering an account or a transaction into the ledger account and how to answer any questions under the ledger accounting. So let's get started with the question. But before then, there is something you need to understand. Now, the law states that for every debit entry, there will be a corresponding credit entry. What does that mean? It simply means that an account must be receiving, there must be one account receiving, and there will be another account given out as well. So these two things are very, very important. That is why in the cash book, we have a debit side and a credit side. So the debit side is always known as the receiving side. Why the credit side is always known as the giving side. So understanding this concept will help you treat this question and also solve any questions under the ledger account. So let us get started. All right, welcome back. Now we have the question on January 1st, 2019. The proprietor starts the business with 3,000 Naira cash. In the ledger accounting, two accounts must be created. As I told you earlier, one is receiving, the other is giving. So you always try to identify the account that is receiving and the account that is giving. So the account that is receiving would be debited and the account that is given out will be credited. What it simply means to debit an account and to credit an account is when you, when you are being told that an account will be debited, it means that that transaction will be recorded on the debit side. If you are told that this account should be credited, it means the transaction should be recorded on the credit side. That is what it means. So the first question says, on January 1st, 2019, the proprietor starts the business with 3,000 Naira cash. There is something very important. For each question, two accounts are going to be created. One will be debited, the other one will be credited. Just like I told you, we we'll always try to identify the account that is given out and the account that is receiving. Now, on this account, we have the proprietor start the business. So when we talk about starting the business, this simply refers to capital. So it means we are going to have a capital account and with cash account because it says that the proprietor starts the business with 3,000 Naira cash. So we create a capital account and a cash account. So when we come over to this place, we have our capital account. This is for the capital and we have another one for cash. So once you are done with this first step, the next thing you do is to try to identify the account that is receiving and the one that is given. The one that is receiving will be debited. The one that is given out will be credited. So here, for the purpose of this first question, a business and the capital are seen as two different entities. So for here, the capital account is given out while the cash account is receiving. So it simply means that the capital account is going to be credited while the cash account is going to be debited. So what we do is this, when you come under capital, because it is going to be credited, you now write cash on the dates. You write cash and you put the value of 3,000. So, when you come over to the cash account, you now write capital with the date. And we put the value 3,000. So what it simply means that capital has been credited, the cash account has been debited. For every debit entry, there would be a corresponding credit entry. So that is it for question number one. For question number two, it says on January 3rd, 2019, a machine is bought. This machine we have here is one account. So we are going to create a machine account for 2,000 Naira cash. So we're also going to have a cash account. So for this second question, 
we have our machine account and we have our cash account so the next thing you do is to identify the account that is given out and the account that is receiving okay so we say a machine account remember machine is now coming in so since machine is receiving it means it is going to be debited so what we do here we say under machine you put down the dates and you write cash and you put the value here 2000 so when you come under cash you put the date and you write what machine and you put the value here okay so one account is receiving the other account is giving out now in the third question it says bought office table bought office table on credit office table is going to be an account so we are going to create a furniture and fittings account and we are also going to create an AS Adelike account remember if you have a name of a, of a person in a question you are going to create an account for that person so we have S Adelike and we have furniture so here we are going to have our furniture account and we have the S Adelike account now this is the first thing you do remember as I told you once you have created this the next thing you ask yourself is which account is receiving and which account is giving so here the furniture account is going to be what debited because furniture is coming in while S Adelike is giving out okay so on that furniture we are going to have with the dates on the 5th of January you have what S Adelike and S Adelike, how much? 500. Now, when you come to S Adelike account, you are going to credit the account. So we have the same date again, and we have what? Furniture. And the furniture here is going to be 500. Now, when we come over to the last question, it says paid S Adelike 500 naira cash. So S Adelike is another account that is to be created. And we're also going to create a cash account all right so when you come over to this next question we are going to have what our s adeleke account and we are going to have a cash account so with the s adeleke account you are going to do what you are going to debit s adeleke because he said he was paid so he received money money came in so s adeleke 500 naira cash so under S Adelike, we have the dates on January 10th, we have what? Cash. And the cash is going to be 500. Then under cash, we have S Adelike, and we have the value of 500. So this is exactly how to treat questions under the ledger books of accounting you can also watch the next video or the previous video i have on ledger accounts how to extract the trial balance from the ledger account you will see similar examples to this and at the same time to help you understand this very very well we we'll encourage you to visit our website and you go to our menu tab you click on assignments you will see a question which i have there under the books of accounting so download that question solve the question and submit the assignment back to us and i personally will give you the correction to that answer so try as much as you can to practice more questions if you have questions or you need clarification you just send us a mail and we'll get in touch with you immediately so my good friends if you love this video share with your friends like and subscribe to our channel and at the same time stay tuned because we have a whole lot of videos for you under financial accounting. Do have a good day and good luck in your exams. Check out these videos too. <laughs>